Two-stroke engines can live or die by their fuel all ratio. However, I've not found a lot of hard data out there. So today, I'm gonna to do some dyno tests and vary the fuel all ratio and see what happens, particularly to the power. Right, so I'm currently on holiday, but yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of different things you can see on the internet. More oil is good, gives more power. There was a Jennings article many years ago, they made quite a lot more power now. Some people say you want less fuel, uh, less oil, sorry. However, I can't find any real data apart from the, I think it was McCulloch uh, Jennings data that there was. So uh, I thought I'd do the test myself. Uh, yeah, better sealing, the cylinder should give more power. Should be better for longevity as well. So the engine should be, uh, should last a bit longer. There's another thing as well, but we'll go into that later. So not a Kawasaki AR50 to do the tests on. We're using an RS125, a 1989 uh, NF4. Uh, it's totally bog stock, got it off a guy really nicely prepped, uh, did a fantastic job. Um, Tom has had a bit of a crash on it, so it, it's not quite as nice as what it was when we first got it, but it is still mechanically sound, it's very reliable. I thought it would make a great, great bike to test this on, so that's why we're using the RS. Plus the AR, oh, it's still got a broken barrel, which I will get round to at some point, if I ever stop fixing a Honda NF4s. Right, just to aid me. Uh... I'm going to mix up four litres of fuel. Uh, the fuel is, I think I'll put that 50. 50. Super unlead, have gas. Fuel I'm using is Gulf 97 octane. So yeah, I've just worked it out, 30 to one is what I'm currently running. So 133 mil of oil for four litres. 25 to one is 160 and 20 to one is 200 mil to four litres so using this guy bought the bike off uses it i've heard it's good stuff it's about 30 quid a litre so it ain't cheap but um yeah have gas next four litres uh, so this is what i've been using big syringe it says for single use however uh, yeah, and I think I'll crack open a new one of these just so everything's consistent. Can't pull it. And then I'm going to suck some of this up. 100 mil. So this one is going to be uh, 20 to 1. So I'm going to have two of these. Another hundred, and I'm dripping it everywhere. Right, so, put it on there. Right, a bit of uh, aluminium. Rub. It's not very good, is it? Yeah, we've got 30 to 1, 25 to 1, and 20 to 1, all made with fresh super unleaded. I am using existing Avgas, but it's from the same time, so it's consistent. This is as consistent as I can get it for this test. So, uh, as you put more oil uh, into the fuel, it displaces some of the fuel. So the actual jetting, in theory, as you add more oil to the same amount of fuel, you need a bigger jet to keep the same air fuel ratio because there's more oil displacing the fuel. So I'm gonna put the AFR when we do the dyno runs and actually see, does the air fuel ratio change as I add more oil? Right, so to get this carb out, it's a twat, and to drain it, there's no uh, drain hole that's connected to a hose, as I can remember, so basically I'm gonna have to take the carb out, which is a bit finicky to get it through here. All the fuel should come out. I've just extended the overflow pipes, uh, as you can see there. Hopefully, it should come out there as I tilt it. So, let's see. I think, oh, no, here we go. Ready for fuel. I'm hoping to not have to do this again. 
this should show it's empty. Well, I just want to just double check it is empty. So if there's nothing left in, it will start seeping out soon. If I loosen these. In a little bit. So I could do, I could just take that off, couldn't I? Did think of that, Dave. How stupid. How stupid of you. I think if I give it a good wiggle over the side, then if they are no longer flowing any fuel out of the overflow, then we'll call that empty. Move that, get rid of the fuel, and then I'm going to go around the other side and tighten up the clamp. Oh, shit. about results so the first test I did was a base test uh, with the old fuel uh, I've got 28.7 horsepower bear in mind this reads about 15% lower than the dyno jet this dyno so I then did a retest to get some heat into the crankcase to see if it sometimes it can make a little bit less power however it's fairly consistent I started all these tests at 50 degrees on the uh, water temperature gauge and I made sure it was cooled down between runs uh, so it's as fair as we can get it, pretty much the same, a little bit more up there, but I think that's run to run. So we then, so I'm going to use the retest as a base. Uh, I then put some new fuel in, so this is freshly mixed fuel at 30 to 1, uh, just to do a test. And you can see that I've got 28.9. So a little bit more power, a little bit less up the slope, I don't know. Dino into dino, not a massive difference though, I would say. If I'm in meals. So then, so that is 30 to 1 of the new fuel. I then tested the um, 25 to 1, and we did get a little bit more power, or the, but not significantly. It's more of a little bit of a spike there. So at the minute, 25 to 1, and I did 20 to 1, and that made <laughs> roughly the same power. So as you can see, there's no real massive difference from uh, the brown, which is uh, 30 to 1, and the red, which is 20 to 1. Maybe a little bit more in the mid-range. It's virtually the same at the peak. For as accurate as my dyno, I'd say 0.3 between runs maybe is as good as you're going to get. Uh, also, lamina as well. I did have the lamina sensor in. So the red line, which is... Um, which is the 20 to 1 as you can see it is 12 point what quite 12 air fuel ratio and the 30 to 1 is 11.77 so it is slightly richer with the less oil which kind of is what you'd expect um, so but how accurate that is because if I put the 25 to 1 on uh, you can see it's actually a little bit leaner there so is that is that for real or is it uh, just the accuracy of my air fuel ratio gauge which apparently lambda is not, not the best for two stroke however both both of the high fuel ratios have given a slightly leaner mixture so in summary it's not made a massive amount of difference from me uh, I'll let you know what my thoughts are um, I'll get back to you in a sec yeah so results of the test not exactly what I expected. I'd expect a bit more power for the more oil. I don't know, maybe the RS is happy with the 30 to 1. Uh, from a personal point of view, and speak to a few people, I'm now, when I'm running the bike, we're going to go for 25 to 1. It certainly doesn't hurt the power. It maybe gives the slightly more power. Uh, but I'm more interested in the extra oil to give a little bit better um, protection to the engine. So that's what I've got from this. Um, I am interested in what you guys think. Someone mentioned in the comments using the EGT, maybe that's what I need to do. Is there a better way I could do the test? I believe I've done everything as consistent as I can. I've measured everything accurately, the same fuel, the same day, test after test. So that's my test of the RS. Obviously, I've done a few other videos on uh, AR, AR50, trying to get to 100 mile an hour. You may be interested, I'll stick a couple of links up there. Again, some more sort of dyno testing stuff that you may be interested in. 
Anyway, uh, that's it for me. Uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff.